In this video, we'll balance the net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus MgCl2, sodium phosphate plus magnesium chloride. First step with net ionic equations is to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. The coefficients for this end up being 2, 3, 6, 1. There's a link in the description if you need help balancing the molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. Sodium compounds very soluble, so we write AQ. This is going to dissolve, dissociate into its ions. Chloride ions, also very soluble when you see that chlorine there. And then again, another chlorine. So all of those are soluble. They'll dissolve. But the magnesium phosphate, let's take a look at that on a solubility table because phosphates are often insoluble. So we find magnesium and phosphate. I'm going to go over and down. And there's that I. That's insoluble. So this won't dissolve in water, so it's going to be a solid. In fact, when this reaction happens, this is a precipitate. It falls to the bottom of the test tube. So we have our states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So we have Na, group 1, 1 plus. The whole phosphate ion here, that's 3 minus. You need to remember that. So I have 2 times 3, 6 sodium ions. And I'll write aqueous and everything at the end, plus two phosphate ions. And then for the magnesium group, two on the periodic table, two plus, and then the chlorine, that forms the one minus ions. Three magnesium ions, and three times two, six chloride ions. So these are the reactants. Products, we have plus and minus, so six sodium ions, and six of the chloride ions. And then the magnesium phosphate is a solid. We're not going to split that apart. We're going to keep that together. So just Mg3PO4, two. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross the spectator ions out on both sides. So let's see, reactants here, products here, six sodium ions in the reactants and products. Let's get rid of those. See six chlorides here, and then in the products, get rid of those. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus MgCl2. I'll clean this up and write the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus MgCl2. Sometimes you'll see the negative ion goes second. You know, it really doesn't matter, but maybe it looks a little nicer. You will note that charge is balanced. We have three times the two plus, that's six plus, and then we have two times three minus, that's six minus. So the total net charge here, that's zero, and this is a neutral compound. If you count the atoms up, they'll be the same for each type on both sides. So the mass is balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Na3PO4 plus MgCl2. Thanks for watching.